What's up ladies and gents and welcome back to Forza Horizon 4. We are here with the tr Fortune Treasure Hunt in the Fortune Island DLC. Now when you arrive you get the task to solve these riddles and discover the hidden treasures and you know that sort of stuff. And then the first one you need to solve this the little stomps around like a quiz or question. Roar through the speed zone at festival's apex. The massive truck that they are talking about is this one. The one that you get right at the start. Oh, it's night now. But yeah, it's the one that you get right at the start. This Rebel TRX concept 2017 RAM. Um, don't search for it under Dodge or dodge it's it's this thing you get it right at the start when when you arrive on the island you are given this yeah this car and what you want to do is to do this festival's apex speed zone and you also spawn like right next to it so this is easily the easiest one to to do you spawn right next to the correct one Just quickly turn around, and you only need to get one star, by the way. It you don't need to get three stars with this thing here. It's obviously a, a rather slow car. And then once you've done this, you're shown an area on the map where the treasure chest is. I already discovered it, so it's right here. And we are now going to the treasure chest. So I can show you the exact position. Now, obviously, you can now skip to Riddle 2 if you want to discover the chest on your own. Like, again, to each their own. There is the chest. Horizon, meet our first Fortune Island millionaire. How do you feel? And there you win a million credits. Well, before you retire to a Caribbean island, let me just say we'll be releasing one treasure chest in each round of the Island Conqueror. If you know you wanted to stick around. And that's literally all you need to do for the first challenge, and we will see each other with the second challenge. So here we are with the second treasure, and we are just going to listen to it real quick. The needle climb has been known to intimidate when set adrift in an Italian 458. Good luck. The 458 is obviously the Ferrari 458. There are two of them. There's a Speciale, or however it's called. I don't speak Italian. And there's the Italia. Um, it doesn't matter which one you use, just pick whatever. Um, the Italia is a little bit worse, but a little bit less expensive. <laughs> um, yeah, just pick whatever. And the needle climb is a drift zone, which can be found up here. And as you can see, I have already finished it and I did two stars. It doesn't matter. You can do one star. It doesn't matter. And you just need to do the drift zone. And I suggest either, well, it doesn't really matter. I tend to prefer drifting downhill, but if you prefer to drift uphill, it's fine as well. Getting one star isn't too difficult, so we're just going to quickly do that. It's a very long drift zone, and with an actual drift car, it's probably also fun. This thing, the thing with, about this car is, at least in the standard tune, it, well, it's a race car, it's not made to drift. I mean, yeah, it has real real drive and some stuff, so you can kick the tail out a little bit, but generally speaking, you, you do notice that it's a race car and it's meant to be, be quick and planted. And that's not what you need for, for a drift. So just use the handbrake a bit, kick the, the tail out a little bit. just get some points. I 
This isn't going as well as the last one. Oh, no, whatever. That one was fun. Yeah, I'm terrible at drifting. Don't, don't judge. It's not my thing. I can drive. I can't drift. For the life of me. actually going better than my last one. I mean, except for the fact that we just spun, but like, generally speaking. I can drift a little bit with uh, drift, Formula Drift cars, but like, with these regular cars, if they're nothing, not tuned for it at all, I still get enough score. Doesn't matter. You have Here arrived at your destination. Whee! And then you unlock the place on the map, and it's over here. So we'll just quickly go there. And we'll turn around. And right there it is. Another Stand million. Down, Horizon. The treasure has been found. Looks like you'll all have to go back to earning an honest living. And we will see each other with the third challenge. So here we are with treasure number three, and we will quickly listen. A 65 wild horse blazed across the USA. Follow its trail at Viking Bay. Now this one is relatively simple. If you know classic cars, you know that this is a 65 Mustang, the 65 wild horse. So the 1965 Mustang. And follow its trail at Viking Bay. Viking Bay is a location on the map and trail means the, the trailblazer gate. So what you need to do is you need to pick the 65 Mustang. Make sure you actually pick the 1965 one. There is a 1968 and a 1971 in the shop as well. Don't pick those. Pick the 1965 one. Make sure it's the correct one. I know to the untrained eye they look relatively similar, but they, they are not. I mean, they are reasonably similar, but they're not the car you need here. And then you go on the map down here, like I already said, Viking Bay. And you pick this Trailblazer gate, the Viking Bay Trailblazer gate. And you do the Trailblazer challenge. If you don't know what that is, um, that was introduced with Treasure Island, and you also have some in the in the Lego world. They are not in the in the regular world, but they are in the, in the Lego DLC and in the Treasure Island DLC. And basically, you drive through the gate, and then you need to get to the destination as fast as possible, using whichever way you like. It's quite. It's okay. Um, you can use the stock standard Mustang and finish it relatively easily. And as you can see, where we go. It's not too big of a challenge. Obviously, you can tune it if you can't can't get it done and tune the car. You can make it quite powerful. And what you unlock then is the chest and. Once again, um, if you don't want to see the location, if you want to search for yourself, then skip to the next challenge. I've put timestamps in the description. But if you do, it's like basically right up on this hill. <laughs> and I'm thinking about picking a different car for this. Um... I was never too big of a fan of the Quattro, but well, it's not a, it's not a bad car. Obviously, it's just visually it was never the most appealing to me. So how do we get up there? I already forgot. I prepared this the other day, and I already forgot. Yeah, it wasn't here. 
I guess we'll drive a circle and then we'll find out. But it very much wasn't here. It's just up that hill. Well, how do I get up there? <laughs> Say somewhere here? Yeah, this looks good. It should be like right behind this thing if I remember correctly. Ooh, your memory sucks. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah, it's right here. Come on, get up there! Get up! No! Well, I guess we'll do it this way around. That worked better. And it's right here. There it is. Damn it, drive. Drive into it. There we go. That's it. The third Fortune Island treasure has been claimed. So I, I suggest driving up there with a different car than your Mustang. Over the riddle, just ask a friend. Are slightly more useful ones. So that's it, and we will see each other with the fourth one. So here we are with the fourth one, and what you need to do These is. These buildings stood tall, but now have fallen. Jump over them in a three wheeled Morgan. Kira Jump with a three wheeled Morgan, and there is only one three wheeled Morgan, the Morgan three wheeler. You can just go to a store and buy it, it's not expensive. 45k, 50k, something like that. And you need to use that to jump over, as the title says, ruins. Buildings that's too tall, but now I've fallen, are ruins. Where do you jump over ruins? Well, if you go to the map, you will find a danger sign, Fenholm Ruins. And you take your Morgan, it looks like this. Pretty, I know. Whoa. And then you you jump. You need to reach 100 feet to pass it. Everything else is a bonus. And then you unlock the chest and you must search for it. And it's in the ruins as well. Again, just skip if you want to search yourself. I don't care. And we will drive in here now. I hope this car can do it. Or else we just have to quickly switch. Whoops. Alright, here it is. There we go. Horizon, we have a new millionaire. And to the rest of you impoverished treasure hunters, don't worry, there's always next round. And we will see each other with the next one with number five. So here we are with number five, and we will listen to it again Legend real quick. Legend says the lady on the lake will shower with treasure a three-star R8. Now this one is relatively simple if you know that legend, uh, that lady on the lake is a speed trap. Man, it's pretty simple, or else you will probably look for it. But yeah, lady on the lake is a speed trap, and a three star means you need to get three stars, and the R8 is obviously the Audi R8, which we have here. The speed trap is down here, Lady on the Lake, as you can see. We smashed it already and we did Turn that around. with the 4 GT mode. So. so we'll use the R8 now. And we need to get to 150 miles an hour. We should be able to easily do that. The R8 is quick. And we have a pretty long run. 60. There we go. And we solved the riddle. Hey Lee. Coordinates are marked. Some of our drivers are heading to the location now. Better hurry. Finders keepers. And again, if you do not want to know where it is, skip to the next challenge.
We'll just fast travel up there. There it is. Thinking about replacing the R8, but I think the R8 should get up there, no, no problem. Where exactly is a problem somewhere in there? There it is. And the fifth treasure of Fortune Island has been found and claimed by someone who might be familiar to you. Hey, a CC 8 This isn't our fault. That's a wonderful call. All right, we will see each other with number six. So here we are with number six. Let's listen to it. Will of the Wisp speed zone is said to be silly, especially when driven in a Jeep named Willy. Now this one can be a little bit misleading because you will probably now look for Jeeps and you buy all the Jeeps in the game and none of them works. And well, then that's annoying. Nope, you need to go all the way to the right in the shop and then you will see Willy's. MB Jeep, a 1945 car with a 100 rating for I think 40,000 or 45,000. I forgot the price already. As you can see at the at the top, the Willys MB Jeep, and I will also show you the car. And Willow Wisp Speed Zone is over here, so you just need to do that. I think everyone has seen this car already. In some movie or game or, or whatever it's a legendary car in that respect it's not legendary in this game though. you say we need to do it with i think 50 miles average fairly certain we can do that obviously we only need to get one star we don't need to three star Kind of at our limit here. <laughs> um, there we go. You have arrived and that's it. You solved the riddle. Yay. Attention, Horizon. If anyone wants some extra hints to prevent <clears throat> a certain driver solving every riddle first, just get in touch. Seriously, I have my phone in my hand. We will just fast travel here, I don't care. I don't even care. It should be to our left. Yes. We'll just use this car, I mean why not? Is there a car? No. There is a car somewhere here. There we go, smash it. Uh oh. Not the shield. That's embarrassing. There it is. Done. Fortune Island has its sixth millionaire horizon. Or the same millionaire six times over. We'll try to make this fairer, I promise. Yeah, you won't. So we see trouble with number seven. And here's number seven. Let's listen to this one. This 80s Lambo was built for dirt. Blazed through the forest without getting hurt. So obviously an 80s Lambo for the dirt, there's only one, the LM002, the 1986 one. As you can see at the top of the screen, I've already selected it. And blazed through the forest without getting hurt. Um, there is a trailblazing gate here. The forest run. And I would strongly assume that that's the one we need. Let's just fast travel here. Right, where is it? Behind us, okay. 
you can obviously tune the car as always you just need to a correct car if you can't finish a certain challenge or if a car is too slow for your liking as always just tune it to your liking but you only need to get one star so that's it and this is pretty thick forest this is something so but we'll easily finish this right. There we go. Haley. Oops. Location updated. Better hurry, you know. You've made some of the other treasure hunters on this island pretty desperate. Haley. Just got the call from one of my Horizon tech crews. They've placed the eighth treasure in a secret location. Instructions are as follows. This Shut up. Swedish Shut. knight is ready for action. Yeah, yeah, we the will do that in a bit. We'll test its traction. Yeah, okay, we will do that in a bit. Shut up. We will now drive here. You have arrived at your destination. There we go. Another one. Congratulations, I suppose. We've tried our best to keep your identity secret from other Horizon drivers, but I wouldn't go flashing that cash around the festival if I were you. Why not? Alright. We will see each other with the next challenge. I mean, you have just heard it, but <laughs> whatever. So here we are with number eight. Let's just listen to it again. This Swedish knight is ready for action. The lakeside speed zone will test its traction. Now you're probably thinking, oh yeah, Sweden, we finally get to do a Koenigsegg. Not quite. Not quite. We do the Volvo Iron Knight. Now this sounds pretty cool and what it actually is. I'll show you the location first. Here's the, the lakeside speed zone. Like right in the middle of the map. Um, yeah, what, what it actually is, is, is it's this. It's not quite a Koenig. Not, not quite. Almost, but not not exactly. Sorry. I didn't make the challenge. I'm sorry that you have to drive this thing. It costs 800,000, by the way, so be prepared to spend a lot of money. I mean, you make a million with it by solving the riddle, but that's still a pretty big bill. Oh my. You have arrived at your destination. I mean, we did it, so... <laughs> what Haley, Solution confirmed. Transmitting coordinates. The treasure will be around here somewhere. Happy hunting. That's right in the caves, isn't it? Bottom right? Uh, left, I mean. I can't see anything. It's in there, isn't it? I can't see anything. Yeah, there it is. There we go. Attention, the eighth Fortune Island Oops. treasure has been found. Tech crews, we may have a security lead. Hey, a Selena's 5S. A very persistent treasure hunter. Stand by. So yeah, it wasn't quite the kind exact that we could probably think of when we hear Sweden, but, you know, we'll see each other with number nine. So here we are with number nine, and let's just listen to it. Korea surprised with this new performance car. Sting the mountain speed trap for all three stars. Now you're probably wondering, okay, a Korean performance car? Sting the mountain trap? Oh, it's the Kia Stinger. There aren't too many Korean car brands, so you can just go through them. And well, once you see the Stinger and Sting the Mountain Speed Trap, it pretty much gives itself away. But it's one of the harder ones if you don't know the Stinger, which isn't too popular of a car, I think. 
And Vermont Speed Trap is up here. And we'll just spawn here. I tuned the car, it's fully tuned to a 900, not fully tuned, it's a 936 rating. Because doing it in the standard stinger is... I don't want to say impossible, but... Received. Transmitting coordinates. If we ever do a car theme trivia night or scavenger hunt, you have to promise to be on my team. <laughs> oh, that's pretty far. But yeah, it's pretty hard to do it in a stock stinger. Bit to the right. Here. We probably can't drive through this right? But we have to stick to the coast and then along this area. That's kind of fun. That is... Whoa, we almost completely drowned there. Try to stick to the land a little bit. I think it's up there. Let's go! Mm. There it is. Done. Another and now only number 10 is missing. Hunters, you have one more and well, one we will more see each other with that. Radios on and engines running. So here we are with number 10, the last one. Let's listen to it. This house shines like a star. Jump to it in a classic muscle car. Now a classic muscle car, I think you can pick any, which is why I... You just go here, you filter by classic muscle and then you pick whatever you like. I picked this one and I think the house that shines like a star is the lighthouse which is down here and we need to use this danger sign to jump there and this is not an easy danger sign don't underestimate this so Let's try this. 200? 200? 241. You what? solved the riddle. See, I Done. thought that was a really hard one. How did you... Oh, right then. Transmitting coordinates. At least we can give you some exercise. Now, this looks pretty rough. How do you get up there? Um, how do I get on this island? I'll be RB. So after looking around it, I think my educated guess would be we jump from this cliff to that position. I didn't find an actual jump, so maybe I wasn't looking good enough. But I think that's the position to take, so we now just drive backwards. I suggest a rally or off-road car or something with a lot of power. I have a fortune to rally fire from this. And now we try to jump in the correct direction. There's a car coming now! And this works. Okay. Let's break a little bit. Now it works. 
Oh, we almost jumped directly into it. That would have been fun. Come on, smash it. Oh, come on. Smash it. Yay, we're done. That's it, Horizon. The Fortune Island treasure hunt is complete. The festival vaults are officially empty. From now on, if you need to borrow money, I know a driver you can talk to. <laughs> So, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you can do all these as well now. And thank you for watching. Until next time, farewell.